Hello again, my friends, back at Dan's Custom Machining. And again, I'm with the expert, Dan the Man. And we today are gonna talk about the Smart Machine Tool Lathe with the Fanuc software or interface. Dan, I don't know as much as I'd like to know about the Smart CNC. Could you explain a little bit for me and anyone else who's interested in learning more about the Smart Machine Tool? Yeah, this is a Smart NL Series Lathe, which uh, is their Boxway series lathe that's made in uh, South Korea. Uh, it, this also has the milling spindle option, so we have live tooling in the turret. Uh, allows us to mill. Uh, by doing the boxway design that this is on, it's a really rigid, robust machine. It allows us to take really aggressive depths of cuts and really will let it take a beating as far as turning hexagon shaped materials or interrupted cuts or anything you'd really want to throw at it. It has the horsepower, the torque uh, that you really need to excel. And then on top of that, accuracy for us is a big thing. Uh, we replaced our old lathe with this because of a job we were running. We had to hold plus or minus a tenth and a half on the OD of a hardened stainless. And the whole goal of buying the machine was to run a full bar unattended with a bar puller uh, and this machine after working with uh, Reynolds and getting everything figured out with uh, tooling and whatnot we're able to run a full bar unattended on this machine which is about 62 parts and they're all within spec to, uh, within plus or minus a tenth and a half. You know, I'm starting to find a common theme from you, Dan, where you like to have machines that you can beat up a little bit and they have to survive your beating. Yep. Yeah, that, I mean, for me, a machine has to handle all the new age cutting tools and to be able to get, basically get after material. I mean, I don't want the old age of going five inches a minute in steel. I, I mean, I just want to hammer it out and keep on going. I mean, the name of the game with, bringing stuff back, manufacturing back over here is compete and speed, and speed is the only way you're gonna do it. I think you nailed that. Uh, that's an ex excellent point. Uh, speaking of the cutting tools, you have some live tooling in here and obviously some inserts as well. Who do you utilize for those? Yeah, our live cutting tools that we use for end mills is uh, MCO USA. We, they're another Ohio company that we use. Uh, allows us to really get after it on the milling aspect of it. And turning tools, we really love the ISCAR turning tools. Uh, they offer, when we first tooled this up for our projects, we went with all the through coolant supply because this machine also, we got the high pressure coolant system. So it's got 300 PSI coolant uh, standard from the factory. Uh, really lets you get that coolant right to the cutting tip of the tool or like the parting off blade from Iskar, we can really direct that coolant right to the cutting edge because that's one of the big issues with a lot of your old school cutting blades. You're spraying coolant, but by the time it's an inch and a half deep into the part, what coolant's really getting down there to the cutting tip, whereas having that direct it right there through the blade, that's a really big advantage for us. Yeah, I can imagine you've seen, you know, either deeper cuts or greater cycle time reduction, higher feed rates, any of that, you know, combination of the sort by being able to get that coolant closer to where you're actually cutting, right? Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely makes a huge difference. Well, I don't know about you, uh, but I'm already feeling smarter already. Where do you, uh, what company supports the local distribution and sales of the Smart Machine Tool? Our local distributor for Smart is uh, based out of Dayton, Ohio. It's Reynolds Machinery. Uh, their guys are awesome when it comes to support on this. And then also, uh, like I said, this machine we bought for a project and their applications engineers there were enormous help with getting this set up and getting the right tooling figured out for holding that super tight tolerance and running stuff unattended. Any questions or trouble I run into, it's just a phone call away. And to my understanding, Dan, um, you actually, there's many, many benefits to this machine, but part of the reason you went with it is because it's the same guys that you have, been, have supported you for other machines as well. Yeah, yeah, they're, I, I'm real familiar with the dealer. Uh, 
from both the sales and technical support side, I get along great with them. Uh, for me, being a smaller shop, I, service is a big thing and relationships matter. Um, I mean, you, you don't have as much clout as a big player in the game when you're talking a machine tool as a smaller guy. That is oftentimes true, but we have to all honor and respect what you do at this shop, Dan, because, you know, it's high quality. It's coming out of here. And if anyone ever overlooked you because of the size, they're missing out on some great potential. Yeah. I, I think the times are changing as far as where manufacturing is going. I mean, last year we know for a fact two of the products we made are actually out in SpaceX's factory out in California. Well done and well deserved. Hey, we'll, we'll talk a bit more on the podcast, guys. I'm very excited to do this, but uh, we'll talk a bit more about where you come from, how you've learned all about this machining, how you, the decisions you made to start your own shop, you know, the growth of the shop itself, because I understand you to be from a, a really, you know, technical background, working for some great companies before you decided to make that leap and to say, you know what, it's time for me to do my own thing. Yep. But back to the machine itself, and before we get into those fun topics, it looks like the smart machine has a FANUC interface, which is pretty user-friendly uh, universally. A lot of machines have FANUC, so I imagine jumping on board with programming, it was pretty, you know, second nature for you. Yeah, yeah, th this machine has the FANUC OITF control. Uh, it's got the manual eye guide, uh, which really, I mean, programming at the machine of this is with ease, with having that eye guide conversational control on the FANUC background side. Uh, you can, most of your, any basic turning you can do at the control faster than you could offside, offline. And I mean, pretty much the whole machine's powered by, it's got FANUC drives and everything else in it. So we're talking, because I'm learning today, and thank you for that, so we're talking a rigid machine, we're talking user-friendly machine, we're talking a cost-effective machine with incredible service here locally. Yep, uh, that pretty much hits the nail on the head of it. Uh, I mean, you got the three best things. You got price point, which is awesome, reliability is great, and serviceability is awesome. I mean, you, you have those three things in a machine shop, you can't ask for much more in a machine. Well, thank you again, once again, for educating me on something new, Dan. You're always a privilege to talk to, and you always teach me something, so I'm very grateful to, for that time that you share with me. Thanks, Tony. I always love it when you come in.